Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to The Real D with me. Today I wanted to touch on the subject of epigenetics. Um, you know, um, as many of you may or may have not noticed, we are actually going through a period of evolution. Our perception as we know it as human beings is definitely changing for a lot of us. Um, some of us are evolving and some of us unfortunately are not. Albert Einstein once said, that the most important decision you'll ever make is to decide once and for all whether you live in a universe that is supportive, that supports you and is friendly, or whether you live in a universe that is hostile and is non-supportive. All our lives we have been led to believe that our genes control our traits and cannot be altered, that everything is hereditary. What epigenetics shows us is that in fact what really affects and can transform our genes is our environment and our thoughts as well as our perception. I came across the study of epigenetics um, when I was watching a, um, a documentary on ancient knowledge. Um, there's a lot of ancient knowledge that's coming to surface that could be um, very useful to mankind and um, one of the leading researchers of epigenetics, his name is Bruce Lipton, and I was very intrigued when I um, when I saw an interview of him in one of these ancient knowledge documentaries, which I will actually post the link to this documentary, because I definitely encourage everyone to watch this and just kind of open up their minds. Bruce Lipton, one of the um, leading scientists behind this research, definitely caught my attention, and it, it made a lot of sense. It's like subconsciously, I kind of knew all this information my whole life, but it took you know, him explaining it for me to kind of, for it to kind of hit me and be like, oh, this makes so much sense. Um, but what epigenetics is, it is a new science revealing that our genes are not strictly hereditary and do not need to control the rest of our lives. Although we do receive certain traits from our parents upon conception, epigenetics reveals that our thoughts and our environment are what determine our DNA after conception. Hence, being able to modify our DNA based on the energy and environment we are exposed to. So basically what this means is that, you know, what we expose ourselves to, our thought process, our environment, that's what affects our health. That's what affects who we become, not only mentally, but also physically. It's basically a science of how environmental information selects the genes and can modify the readout of the genes. So basically, we can become masters of our own genetics. This becomes important because we control our health with our beliefs, our perceptions, and our attitudes about life. This relates to quantum physics, which recognizes that although we see an atom as a physical structure, once a deeper look was taken by physicists, it was revealed that instead of physical particles being within the atom, it is actually made of vibrational energy. So once we understand that all matter is energy, we realize that everything is made out of energy. And once we take this into account, we realize that energy is very powerful in influencing what we call matter. So energy controls everything. Now moving forward in, deeper into the subject of energy, basically what this new information reveals to us is that a new form of healing is available to us using energy vibration rather than physical chemicals. And what turns out is that energy vibration is actually 100% more efficient than using chemistry on the body. So we now have a new understanding of how to control our body with energy vibrations, and this includes our thoughts. Our thoughts are so powerful in affecting our health because our thoughts are a form of vibrational energy. So as Bruce Lipton stated, a negative belief can hurt you if not kill you as much as a positive belief can heal you. If you control your thoughts, you control your life and your health. Our body has these reserved cells and the understanding of these reserved cells is that they will repair or replace anything that your intention is focused on. So they're not set in place and can't be changed. With you this know, information we realize that there are things more important than the physical realm. And as we dig deeper into science and in trying to understand the world that we live in, we realize that we cannot solely rely on science to come to the fullest conclusions that we are trying to reach. And because energy is what affects the physical, that's exactly why 
there are things more important than the physical realm because the physical realm is not what is in control. It's just an illusion that we feel, we sense that what is in control is the physical, but in real reality, it's the physical is not what's in control. So for example, love, beauty, emotions, those are all forms of energy and all have an effect when released into the world. Now, why is this information so important? Well, it's not only because we now have discovered ways to improve our health and also heal ourselves, but because this can affect the world and society as a whole. Bruce Lipton states that science has revealed to us a very disturbing fact, that the biosphere is falling apart. Life is going through what they refer to as a mass extinction. We're losing species of plants and animals faster than ever in history. Now, five previous extinctions have been recorded, but they were due to natural causes, such as meteorites destroying the environment, etc. What science has recognized is that the mass extinction we are facing today is due to human behavior. The way that we're treating the planet and the way we are treating each other is disrupting the ecosphere and actually creating a situation of our own extinction. So this is definitely something serious and not to be taken lightly. And in order for us to survive, we must change the way we are living as a species. We need to release more positive vibrational energy into the world in order for the natural flow of life to resume. Now, we can't reverse a lot of the damage that has been done, but what we can do is stop the ultimate outcome before it's too late. Today I hope you have come to realize the importance of this new science of epigenetics and how powerful it truly is. Um, I'm definitely going to be delving deeper into the subject in the future, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an introduction and just to give you guys a basic understanding of what epigenetics is because it really is so important and more and more people really need to understand this because it's revolutional. You know, it's something that's going to be so powerful and it's going to really impact the world once more and more people become aware and learn to incorporate it into their everyday lives. Um, I myself personally have witnessed the power of epigenetics. For the longest time I've been saying that love is the key. Love is the key to changing the world. Um, love is the key to saving the world. And with this new science it proves that it truly is. If we unite and spread more love and more positive vibrational energy into the world, not only will we experience more healing within ourselves, but it will balance out the planet and the ecosystem will no longer be affected negatively. It is up to us to do what we can to prevent the damage that is being done before we ourselves go extinct. And yeah, it might not happen in our lifetime, but it's going to happen in our ch kid's lifetime or our grandkid's lifetime or our great grandkids. But if you pay attention to what's going on around you, things aren't getting any better. And we're going through a period of human evolution where it's time for us to take action. So we can either take action and do what we can to improve our situation, or we can just sit and rot and I'll allow ourselves to go extinct, you know. And um, I don't think that, I don't believe that that's what the outcome is going to be. The more and more I pay attention and the more I see people opening up their minds and everything's going to balance out and that utopia that a lot of us have been dreaming towards and have been and know and it's not even a, a think it's we know that this utopia is very possible it's a matter of more and more people like us to get out there and share this information and touch other people's lives and do what we can to better the world so again guys delve deep into the subject. Um, I'm going to post some links at the bottom of the of the video with some information um, and I'm going to have some links to some videos that I watched and um, also I will have the link to that documentary as well just because these are this is very important information that I really feel needs to be shared. I really hope that I opened up your minds a little bit today and that you really take the time to just research this on your own because it could actually answer a lot of questions about yourself that you probably didn't know and um, it's definitely worth looking into so again I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and stay tuned for my next vlog bye